Crack open the new issue of Newsweek magazine and you'll see Christopher Dickey writing about the good old days of Arab dictatorships. Dickey tells readers that American spies have nostalgia for a more autocratic Arab world. Quote, you know, back before dictators started toppling in the Middle East, back when suspected bad guys could be snatched off a street somewhere and delivered to the not-so-tender mercies of interrogators in their home countries, back when thuggish tyrants, however ugly, were at least predictable. Close quote. One senior intelligence officer tells Dickey that all this celebration of democracy is just bullshit a view Dickey doesn't seem to challenge much. In Egypt, for example, Dickey explains how Hosni Mubarak's failure to hand over power to his torturing intelligence chief Omar Suleiman was bad news for U.S. policymakers, who may have lost a vital link in their interrogation network. Dickey's explanation, though, reveals a logical flaw. Egypt were close partners in the U.S. rendition program when the Bush administration pushed hard for torturers to deliver the kind of intelligence they wanted to hear, like intelligence linking Saddam Hussein with al-Qaeda, for instance. The fact that such a piece in Newsweek can lament the loss of such intelligence as a blow to U.S. interests is quite a feat.